Hi, this video will walk you through the upgrade process from pick puller one to pick puller two. This whole upgrade process has been driven by a change in the API rules at Instagram. You can read about them in more detail. Basically, all apps require a review process. That review process limits access to public media. They have said that this is to protect users and access to their media. The good news is we do have a path forward, but the bad news is you are no longer able to search by tag with PicPuller and also your liked photos, popular photos, access to those feeds are also gone. With those API changes, some craft changes take place as well. You will no longer have your own Instagram app that you created on Instagram living within craft. PicPuller 2 all instances of it use the same API key, which has been approved by Instagram. This means that your prior authorizations, so your users who have used PicPuller and have authorized, will need to reauthorize with the new API key. With that, let's actually dive in and upgrade a site. The site we're gonna upgrade is PicPuller.com, which has a copy of PicPuller running on it. Right now, what you see is the control panel with version 1.6 installed. You'll see I have um, a widget that shows my latest Instagram image. I have some entries here that I've created using the PicPuller field type. These are existing entries, so this entry pulls in images from Instagram as expected. We also have matrix entries that use PicPuller and uh, non-PicPuller blocks in them, and those work successfully. Let's take a look at the current app. You'll see there are three tabs, which you'll probably be familiar with if you're doing the upgrade. PicPuller 1 worked with multiple users, as will PicPuller 2. So that's a basic walkthrough. So let's do the upgrade. I've got this site actually running on my local machine using MAMP at the moment. And what you see here on the right-hand side is the actual directory structure of the site itself. This window here kind of represents me having downloaded a zip of the latest update to PicPuller. And I'm going to now um, do the upgrade. So I'm going to take, and you could probably take your site offline if this is not um, on a local machine, but hopefully you're doing it locally and up updating via Git or FTP or something like that. So I'm going to remove the old pick puller. I'm going to put it in the trash and I'm going to replace it with the new version of pick puller. So now I'm back in my site. I'm just going to refresh the page. It tells me that there are some database updates that are gonna happen, and there are some significant changes. What's gonna happen is the application information you had from version one is gonna be deleted because we don't need it anymore. And your authorizations for that deleted app are also going to be removed. They're worthless at this point because you're not using them anymore. So I'm gonna hit finish up. And now PicPuller 2 is installed. You'll notice that the widget doesn't show an image anymore, and that's because you haven't authorized anything to uh, pull it from an account yet. Let's look at those entries as well. If I go look at this, uh, pick puller is easy to use. You'll notice that uh, we still have the browse Instagram button, but the uh, image is not coming up. Actually, this is interesting as well, because when I put instructions in this field, I said user stream plus search. Search is no longer possible because that access has been pulled by Instagram. So we're going to have to change that as well. Let's get some authorization in here. So I'm going to click pick puller on the left-hand column and you'll see that I need to authorize again. So I'm going to click the red button to start the authorization process. You'll see it takes me to Instagram and ask me if pick puller two can have access to my basic information, which is your media and profile information. So I'm gonna click authorize. Once that happens, you actually land briefly back at pickpuller.com, which is the endpoint for the API of the approved application. And then that will kick you back into your own website, delivering the authorization information with that request. One quick note, my local site here is not HTTPS, so it's not a secure connection. If you would like for security reasons to keep everything encrypted, you need to have a security certificate on your site. PickPuller.com is now all HTTPS. TPS though. So that information going from Instagram to PickPuller is secure. To make it go be secure from PickPuller to your site, you'll need a security certificate. Now let's go back into the site. Hit return to PickPuller. 
Now we're back at the top level of the app. You'll see my pictures being pulled in again. That means I'm authorized. Authorized users will also show the list of authorized users. If you have other users, like I have more than one user here, that user would need to authorize the app again as well for access because it's a new app. Now let's go look at the entries we had before. This entry that wasn't showing an image because it didn't have access to Instagram is actually working again. So this was an entry created in PicPuller 1 using a different Instagram account to receive that Instagram ID that still works in the new version of Instagram because they're from the same user. So what happens if you had used PicPuller version one and you found an image and you used the field type to embed that image in an entry? The bad news is it's not gonna work anymore because that image is not yours and you don't have access to it through the Instagram API. Here's an example I'll show you. This uh, entry called pizza used an image of a pizza, but it wasn't my pizza. And if I go click on this entry, you'll see PicPuller has kept the data in there, which was this image number. But since this image doesn't belong to my account, the account that was authorized by Instagram to access photos that I own, this image no longer appears here. That's because I don't have access to it anymore. So that is one area that you're gonna have to look out for. If you've made entries using other people's images, those are no longer accessible anymore. So that is one gotcha that you're gonna deal with as you upgrade. But at least we do have access to our own images again. If you have any questions, please uh, reach out to me. But uh, that's a brief walkthrough on uh, what has changed in uh, PicPuller, and I hope you enjoy using it. Thanks very much.